So hello, what's this? A vlog on the game channel? Well, there's a few different things that I want to talk about that are only associated with the game channel, so I figured, hey, what now? Firstly, um, there's obviously the thing that I say about don't add me on Steam, you know, if you want to get in contact, there are other ways to get in contact, like Twitter, email, and if you want me to use things like the Facebook page, then go like it, I mean, it gets a lot of views, so why not, you know, if you actually want to keep visiting it, it's easier and encourages me to actually use it rather than just using it with the video tab. Anyway, on to the next thing. The other day I had, obviously I've had problems in the past with people stealing videos. I've gone on um, one channel and I've seen in the sides and I thought, hey, that's the size of my video, but it's got someone else as the publisher and it doesn't have my thumbnail. And obviously they've took it off another video site and put it on YouTube. When I already put my own videos on YouTube on my own channel, or channels, because obviously there's the Let's Play channel, there's Bracky Gitchin, which is out of use at the moment because of reasons, and then there's the vlog and reviews and main channel and unboxing channel and all that. So, yeah. They go up on their own channels. I don't expect them to be taken and re-uploaded as if it was your own content with dodgy stuff in the descriptions and dodgy links that are not associated with anything. And that's another problem. And on the other side, DM, you know, there's problems with in the comments, there's always links to, oh, get this dodgy virus risen free version. It's like, no, I don't want that. And, you know, that site is having problems with things like the support's useless, I want to blanket ban anyone from posting URLs in the comments for that, and it's like... <laughs> but anyway, on to the other thing. I had a Twitter confirmation, which is a bit weird, because I have my own Twitter account, but obviously it's not on the registered email address that's publicly available, it's on one of my own email addresses, and not the public one for public correspondence and, you know, press correspondence and all of that that's listed on the website. So, when I had a confirmation, I thought, hmm, is this just a dodgy virus? And, you know, I was half tempted not to open it, but I opened it, and it, like, confirmed your Twitter account, and it was either, I don't know, you know, it was some foreign country, and I know I do have Philippines viewers and viewers in some of these countries where the language is not English, and it's, like, you know language that I couldn't probably ever decipher. Anyway, so I probably should have looked at the account for Jason Beckley too on Twitter and seen what they were posting. You know, maybe it was fan translations or different things. But, you know, if you're going to share things, share them properly. And I did put on the Suit Humi video where, you know, I would like to be with a network because that would give them the opportunity to share all the stuff and you know doing it through a network sensible because the network can post each and every video that goes up and all that on the network channel i'm not expecting someone to take an account and be me and pretend to be me and in that sense because that would be really dodgy in my eyes so when i got a confirmation from my own email address to confirm a twitter account i was not running it kind of seems very dodgy, and I've seen on Sleep Cycles videos where Downwell, I don't own Downwell, and I probably won't get Downwell, that one of the top scores was clearly cheating, had in the last year as well, and it was like, why is my name appearing on that? And I've had in the past, when I've done other stuff before, Let's Plays and stuff with affiliate marketing and all that, where content I've written to be specific for my website and to help for my website has just been wholeheartedly stolen with no links back to my stuff, you know, no mention of my stuff. And it's just like, we're just going to take your entire content you wrote, put it on our site and then advertise the hell out of it. And it's like, and then I wonder why, you know, maybe that's why my AdSense got messed up. Did people wholeheartedly take stuff I've written, including the AdSense, and think, hey, that's helping them out, you know? We're giving their AdSense as well as all our 60 AdSense that's all over the website, because literally you can search for the content I've written in Google or Yahoo, and it would come up with other websites that aren't mine, and they've not linked back to me. They've just wholeheartedly stolen my content, and, you know, it's kind of sickening that people do that. So when they upload videos that I've done as well, sickening, and <laughs> it's just like, why? You know, share it properly. 
That's why DM have come up with a repost feature where, you know, you can repost to your own channel, but it gives the person who made the content the proper authorization and the proper payments. But, you know, YouTube don't have anything like that. And then when people steal it from DM and put it on YouTube or other websites, and it's like, I haven't authorized this, you know, this is my content that I've created, that I've gone out of my way to create, and I've taken the time to edit and mess about with and render, and it takes a long time to do all that, and then upload, and then write all the stuff that goes with it, and they just wholeheartedly steal that, and it's like, no, don't ever do that. So, again, you know, coming back to the whole thing, why did someone register a Twitter account to my email, you know, it's one thing to try and claim my identity and all that, but then to register it to the email of my website, which I don't have my Twitter account linked to, it seems like they might be doing dodgy things to try and represent and pretend to be me. And then, you know, where do they go from there? Do they slander my name by taking games that I'm not actually taking and then claim they're going to review them and then when I haven't reviewed them, you know, it comes against me. And then when I've gone to try and claim the games legitimately, perhaps, you know, maybe I don't ever get them because they're like, oh, well, you've already got them because X 12-year-old third party in the Himalayas has claimed this. And it's like, <laughs> no, that wasn't me. So, yeah. It's really dodgy to pretend to be someone else. Be yourself if you want to do these things. You know, start making your own content. Start doing it yourself. Start taking the effort. Don't pretend to be someone else and steal their stuff because it's just not on. And on the other note, the one that I've been trying to do for a while, but I haven't really got around to doing is, yeah, I'm open for collaborations and all that. So, hey, if you run your own game channel and if you made it through the rants and all that. And if you if you don't do game channels, you know, for the other channels and stuff, I'm open to collaborations on pretty much anything. So feel free to get in touch with proper methods. You can email through the email that's listed on the website, which I'm not going to include in the video because, you know, the less places I put it up, the better, because obviously it's clearly getting taken and used for Ill illegitimate purposes and purposes which I don't support. So I'm not going to support those things, but get in touch properly, you know, Playfire, add me on Playfire if you want to add me, you know. If you can add me on Steam after we've talked and if there's a legitimate reason to, but don't just add me off the offset. And I don't even click no, so, you know, you just end up hanging. You never get a response <laughs> unless there's a legitimate reason. Then, especially if you've got a private profile. If you've got a private profile and you're adding me, you're definitely never going to get added. You're just going to hang there forever and ever and ever. And it's like... You know, send me a message, talk to me, you know, say why you're adding me. Don't just click, hey, ads, and it's like, no. So, yeah, if you're going to try and collaborate, get in touch properly, and then we can maybe collaborate and go to legitimate pages and legitimate sources. Don't watch dodgy versions. And if you see this turning up on dodgy versions, you know, question it. Go to the proper website, interlatio.co.uk, and if you can't get to it from there, then, well, it's probably not real, is it? Unless it's something special. But if it's on the channel that's associated with those things, then yes, you know, it's real. I just haven't either got around to making a full article, or it's not going to be a, its own article. So, yeah. Check it out. Do it properly. Don't steal my identity. It's literally the same as identity theft. You know, you're it's not, you know, like you're stealing a driver's license or something like that, or a bank card, but you're stealing my internet identity. And so, you know, that has its own associations. If you're stealing my internet identity that I'm using and have used for, I don't know, 10 years, so <laughs> quite a while, yeah, I haven't been making Let's Plays for that long, and I haven't even been making the vlogs and everything for that long, because I started out by doing just written articles, and that's why the majority of my traffic is reading you know they like to read the written articles so yes it all makes sense and you know that's the traffic that i've built up and i'm trying to branch out and get other traffic and other sources but that's natural surely you know one day and age you build your own traffic sources and you build them up and you venture out into the new things that are associated with it and i just clapped really close to the microphone by accident so you've probably got a huge spike there and I apologize for that but I'm ranting on a bit now so I'm going to wrap it up whilst I have the chance so thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>